So Prince Harry and Meghan arrived in the city of Cali where they attended a discussion focused on highlighting and uplifting Afro-Colombian women. Meghan and Harry greeted attendees at the Municipal Theatre and swayed their hands during a musical performance by Cynthia Motano. We had talked about their entrance earlier and how they actually played a song from their wedding day, which was so beautiful. And then Megan took to the stage during the conversation, removing an earpiece and speaking Spanish to the crowd. Afterward, she jokingly mimed, wiping sweat from her forehead as the crowd applauded before switching to English. And let's just first listen to Megan speaking in Spanish because, Lord, she just looks so good. Hola. <laughs> Ay, muy, buenas, muy buenas tardes. Me gustaría empezar en español. <laughs> ah, porque estamos en su país, mi, mi marido y yo. Y puedo sentir este abrazo de Colombia. Y es increíble. Entonces, gracias, muchas, muchas gracias, porque la cultura, la historia, todo estaba como un sueño, este viaje. Y perdona si mi español no está perfecto, porque yo aprendí hace 20 años en Argentina. Pero estoy tratando porque acá puedo sentir esta comunidad y este es el sentimiento que es lo mejor del mundo ahora. Entonces, gracias, uh, vicepresidenta, mi amiga. Muchas gracias. Y bueno, ahora en inglés. I mean, that was just so perfect. And I believe you're now starting to understand why these members of the royal family could never let Meghan be a part of them. Because can you, uh, can you even list one person in that family who can speak as well as Meghan does? Of course, none. All the women in that family, all the men in that family, none of them is as relatable as Meghan is or as Prince Harry is. And Dr. Shola, whom I love very much, also commented on this Meghan speech saying that as Meghan shines globally, a natural and engaging leader in her own right, the short-sightedness of the royal family in rejecting her is testament they failed to silence her. And this is just very true. As Meghan shines on this global stage right now, everyone can see what the royal family lost. And this is also a testament to uh, how the royal family failed in breaking Meghan. Rwanda is so jealous of everything that the Sussexes do. So seeing the way that Harry and Meghan are shining in Colombia just makes me thank God for actually helping them get out of that family because uh, they are now shining even brighter. And I also want you to listen to this uh, part of Meghan's speech in which she spoke in English. From my standpoint, how I will continue to express this both through our foundation and through being able to move through the world I suppose is just looking at this as my chapter of joy and the more that you are able to look at your life and really truly recognize that if you're going to be grateful for your life you have to be grateful for all aspects of it the parts that were opportunities of growth and may have felt really difficult, as well as the parts that feel inspiring, joyful, and full. And I think part of the role modeling doesn't necessarily need to be a large plan, it just needs to be an intention. And my intentionality is to enjoy this chapter and to be able to move through every piece of that as best as I can, modeling that if we are in the spirit of gratitude and of generosity, how we are able to connect with each other as women, how we are able to move through the world in a much freer way, I think is part of 
how we continue to create the conditions I was speaking about earlier. And you may have noticed it, my husband and I were talking about it this morning. I've just really relaxed on this trip. That's probably because it's Colombia, and you all know how to have fun. Um, but there's been something really, that's true. There's something so liberating about being able to be yourself and be comfortable in your skin and be surrounded in a space that is excited to see you exactly the way that you are. And so I think that is part of the chapter for me of joy that will hopefully continue to inspire and allow me to, um, to keep doing the work that we love to do, which is to just be of service and see other people live their lives through that same joyful spirit. My favorite part in this Megan's speech, especially when she speaks in English, is when she says that she's in her chapter of joy. And quoting Megan's own words, she says, there's something so liberating about being able to be yourself and be comfortable in your skin and be surrounded in a space that is excited to see you exactly the way you are. That is part of the chapter for me of joy that will hopefully continue to inspire and allow me to keep doing the work we love to do, which is just to be of service and see other people live their lives with that same joyful spirit and indeed megan is in her um, megan is indeed in her chapter of joy you can just see her smiling from ear to ear you can just see joy radiating from her especially in this colombian trip it's just uh, it's just been filled with so much good vibes and one thing I'm praying for is that this chapter of joy is going to be permanent on her life because she looks absolutely beautiful in this era. And then Megan also speaks about how she's really relaxed on this Colombian tour, saying that she spoke with Prince Harry, her husband, earlier on concerning that. And we've actually seen that. Megan looks really relaxed, like everything is just so perfect. Her happiness is so much um, infectious. And I believe it's because she is just living her life, minding her business and doing the work that she loves to do. And we love you so much, Megan, for the good work that you are doing. You're a voice of change and it's just so inspiring to so many women out here. So continue doing the things that you're doing and just know that we are behind you, clapping for you and praying for you each and every single day. And then another part that got me uh, even to love Megan more is when she stood up from her seat to go and change the fans direction. See, she could have asked anyone to do this. There are security people there. There are people who are there to help uh, to help them do this work. But because Megan is just a humble person and she's just the person that she is, she decided to do it by herself. This speaks a lot about her character and the kind of person that she is. She's just so nice and such a humble human being. And then the part where Megan speaks about Lilibet is when she says, part of the role modeling that I certainly try to do as a mother is to encourage our daughter who at three, she has found her voice. And we're so proud of that because that is how we, as I was saying, create the conditions in which there's a ripple effect of young girls and young women knowing that if someone else is encouraging them to to use their voice and be heard that's what they're going to do wow that's really amazing and the fact that megan keeps talking about her children on a uh, majority of the speeches that she makes shows how of a good mother she is how she cares about her children and it's so definite that she has raised her children in a very good way even in harry and megan's documentary you could see how archie was such a respectful child he was speaking so nicely to his mother which was so beautiful and I'm sure Lilibet is also the same and adding to the fact that she has actually found her voice at such a young age. Oh my God, I just can't imagine.
Indeed, Harry and Meghan are amazing parents and I know they're raising their children to be um, even perfect than they themselves. And their children are definitely very lucky to have parents like Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan. And there are also some photos that have been released recently from this same event. You can see this one of Prince Harry admiring his wife. You know, I can't stop saying this, but it's so obvious that Harry adores his wife. He truly loves her. His hands can never get um, far from Megan, which is so adorable. And you can also see how um, most of the attention was on them. Oh my God, the love that uh, Colombia have actually shown to Harry and Meghan is just so beautiful. We'll forever be grateful for the way they welcomed them and the way that they made them feel at home. So thank you very much, Colombia, for this warm welcome. Thank you for helping Meghan find peace in your country. And most of all, thank you for finally making Meghan to speak in Spanish because Lord knows how long we've been waiting to hear Megan speak in Spanish. Thank you all so much and may God bless you abundantly. So that is what I wanted to share with you. You can kindly leave your comments down below on what you think about what we've discussed. And I'll see you all on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing, amazing time. Bye.